Uh, so I'm going to show you uh, what I keep in my Avatar Extras binder. This is promotional material, previews for upcoming books, cards, and exclusive comics. Anything that contains Avatar lore that is not physically large enough or even relevant enough to put onto my shelf on its own. Also, this binder just has just some small Avatar merch that I find cool. So let's get into it. So on the first page we have a preview for Smoke and Shadow Part 1. Uh, you could get this at Comic-Con 2015. We have a preview for Turf Wars Part 1. I believe you can find this at Comic-Con 2017. We have a preview for the first uh, Art of the Animated Series book for Legend of Korra, so book one air. Uh, this preview could have been found at San Diego Comic Con 2013. And then we have just some episode guide inserts. Uh, these were found in the original DVD volumes and complete book collections uh, for Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, and here's also just a map, which is the other side of the um, uh, episode guide that came in the Complete Book 1 collection for Avatar. I believe this is the first time uh, an official map of the Avatar world was actually released as well. So that's a cool find. And then we have the other inserts for the other DVDs and uh, Complete Book collections. So we have the uh, episode guide for um, book two of uh, Avatar Last Airbender, the complete collection, and uh, individual episode guides for the individual DVDs. Same thing for book three over here. The book three complete book collection didn't have a picture on the other side, so I just left it as is. Uh, we have a preview for volume one, Cinemanga book. Um, this is, so Tokyo Pop released a series of books. You probably are aware of them. You probably have a few of them, but this is a preview for specifically the volume one uh, before people even knew what they were going to be like. Uh, this could be found in um, Avatar to the Burning Earth video games. Not all of them, but some of them had a preview copy of this and this and I have one of them. And uh, we have the original publication of Divided We Fall. This is an exclusive mini comic that was originally uh, released in the um, DVD volumes for book two. Not all of them, so you have to make sure that on the front of the DVD package uh, there's a sticker that says contains exclusive mini comic. Uh, but yeah, in each one of the four volumes of the DVDs, it came with part one or all the way up to part four of four of uh, exclusive mini comic, Divided We Fall. Don't worry if you're not reading this specific version because this mini comic was also uh, brought together in The Lost Adventures, uh, a collection of all the uh, mini comics previously released. It was um, came out in 2011. So you can still read this comic. It's not uh, exclusive anymore to the DVDs, but this is when it first came out, and these are the original um, parts. So we have Divided We Fall Part 1, Divided We Fall Part 2, Part 3, and Part 4. And in the Book 3 volumes uh, for the DVDs, uh, they did the same thing for each one of the four DVDs. They had one of four parts for an exclusive mini comic, and this comic was called Private Fire. So, and again, this is brought, and again, you can read this in The Lost Adventures. Just what I'm showing you now are the original, is the original publication of this comic. So we have Private Fire Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, and Part 4. Now let's see what we have next. Oh, here we go. This is a mini 3D comic summarizing Aang's journey uh, through book two and uh, 
this can be found in some limited uh, editions of the Earth Kingdom Chronicles, the individual, uh, uh, the individual books for one for each character. So this one's the Tale of Aang, and it's summarizing his. And this this comic is summarizing his journey through book two. And the Earth Kingdom Chronicles is a series of six books uh, from the perspective of six characters, and some of those Earth Kingdom um, Chronicles books uh, came with a mini comic and a pair of 3D glasses so, and um, it's just really cool really nice find and they have and there's a mini comic for each of the characters as well so there is a mini comic for Aang Azula Toph Sokka Zuko and Katara. And then we have a preview for Rise of Kyoshi. This can be found in the 15th anniversary steel book for the Avatar Last Airbender. We have a reissue of Shells, but also Lost Pets, if you flip it over. You're supposed to flip over the book and read it from the other side. And so it's a reissue of Shells and Lost Pets, the comic, free comic book day comics, but you can also find them. You can also read them in, um, you can read Shells and The Lost Adventures, I believe. If not, you can find it in Team Avatar Tales for sure. Lost Pets, uh, you can only, where, where can you read Lost Pets? You can read Lost Pets, uh, it's a 2018 free comic book day comic. So you're going to read it here, or if you have that free comic book day comic. Um, do, do, do. Let's see, where could you find this? You could find this in the Avatar Last Airbender and Legend of Korra uh, combo sets, combo DVD sets for the, uh, the complete collection. Uh, this is a Burger King playmat from 2006. This would be given to kids to play with along with their meal and the Avatar toy that it came with just be inserted into the bag. And now we are getting into the cards. So this is the last little section. So this is a complete lenticular card uh, promoting uh, the premiere of book three. Let's see. So as you like tilt them, they the images change and animate. I don't know how well you could see that. So it's just these six cards. And uh, this could be found at Comic-Con 2007. Of course, I never went to any of the Comic-Cons. I found all of these. Everything I got from Comic-Con in this book, I just found online. Unfortunately, I was not old enough to go to Comic-Con at, at the time. Uh, let's see. Then we have the DVD promotional set uh, for the trading card game. It only consists of two cards. It's Appa's Wild Ride and Sokka's Metal. And then we just have another promotional card set. I do not know where this could be found. I just know that I just thought it was real cool. I saw it online for a couple bucks, so I just picked it up. And then we have the entire Burger King promotional set for the trading card game. It consists of eight cards. And this is the only set in which you can get Toph and Azula as a card. Uh, these are the only two cards that they appear in. There's four sets of trading card game, uh, um, for the trading card game. Um, the DVD promotional set only consists of two cards and then there's the Burger King set, which consists of eight cards. And here's our, here are all eight cards. And then, you know, quite shamefully, I also, from me just online, just have trying to collect uh, these cards. Um, the seller would also throw in McDonald's cards, you know, because also cards that are Avatar related, so. You know, they, they feel like they should get belong together. But I know that they shouldn't. But I happen to have collected all 12 of these cards. These are McDonald's cards. 
uh, um, that were given out as promotional material for the M. Night Shyamalan movie, along with some toys. Uh, there's 12 of them. I have them all, and well, yeah, I decided just to keep them, so they're here. Please don't judge me for having these. I mean, the back, the, the uh, information on the back is correct. It's just the fronts, which is not. It doesn't tell us anything new. It's just giving us uh, you know, a summary of each character. But still, you know, I have the complete set. It felt wrong to throw a complete set of anything Avatar related away, so I threw it in this book. And that is my Avatar Extras binder. In the back, we just have some 3D glasses to read the comics with. Uh, CD that came with book one, volume two. It has some games on it if you toss it into your uh, uh, PC. And then these are the non-canon uh, mini comics in the back of the Lost Adventures that I ripped out and made uh, as a comic on all on its own. So yeah, this is my Avatar Extras binder. Hope you enjoyed.